GMOG Sports TV back with another one. All right, so uh, referee Jack Reese, who uh, obviously um, officiated the first fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, responds to Young Farrell's claims of the glove gate theory. And it's just a theory, right? The, the problem with theories is that they are basically, they're duds. They, you got a spark when you started and now you just garbage, like like my man Nas would say. Um, they're not sustainable because they're not facts. They're not based off facts. They're based off lies. They're based off, uh, they're based off manufactured theories. That's what they are. They're not based off anything factual. And so the problem with people coming out the woodworks with all these excuses, that's not Wilder's team, but LDBC and Wilder fanboys and people bitten by the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying, that are fans of Wilder saying some dumb shit and believing this dumb shit, like Young, young Pharaoh claims, don't know shit about boxing, period, right? And that's the whole problem with this thing here, man. Um, these are proven lies that can be easily debunked because all you need is three things, logic, facts, and common sense. And clearly the LDBC, all these wild debts and all these coronavirus motherfuckers that got, uh, that are, uh, <laughs> tested positive from it, um, don't know shit about boxing. Right. But, uh, so yeah, Jack Reeves responds to young Farrell's claims. I'll read the article real quick and, uh, come back with my commentary. So according to this article, and this is from, um, Metro.co.uk. Um, Jack Reese actually has his own podcast, which I, I gotta check out. I wish I had the audio. I don't. I'm just gonna read to you guys the actual um, article itself. Um, but anyway, so the article says uh, referee Jack Reese has hit back on suggestions that Tyson Fury tampered with his gloves during his first fight with Deontay Wilder. Sidebar, and I've already talked about this before, right? The, these all of these excuses coming out the woodworks. You're talking about gloves being tampered with during the first fight. You're showing footage of the first fight. That lets you know that these guys are casual fans. They're dumbass casual fans that, you know, that just that just have a innate IQ of a doorknob. You're talking about Tyson Fury had an advantage of the first fight, which of course, you know, anybody you knows, anybody who's boxed, anybody that got common sense knows when your hand is exposed because the gloves and the tape and all that are meant to protect your hand. When your hand is exposed, you are more prone to injury than you actually hitting that fighter, right? Um, that's number one. And number two, again, like I said, you got footage of the first fight. If he had such an advantage, why didn't he knock Deontay Wilder out the first fight? Why? Number th and number three, why are you coming out with this theory now? The poll, remember, remember the whole theory of the last knockdown about the long count? All these LDBC channels were just coming out the woodworks like crazy about it was a long count, it was a long count, it was a long count. And we had a plethora of other videos debunking that theory in real time. Uh, there, was a, there was a video or several videos that showed an actual real time clock of the referee counting, right? And Jack Reese. And that was clearly debunked. Just the same thing with this stupid ass glove gate theory. Everybody who's involved in boxing, everybody who was inside the ring or has something to do with the fight itself are debunking this dumbass theory. But anyway, um, the article says, after Fury's victory on uh, February 22nd, videos have circulated online. Like I said before, this whole shit started on YouTube. It only exists on YouTube. This whole glove gate theory only exists on YouTube. No real boxing circles are talking about this unless, you know, somebody mentions it in an interview. Oh, you heard about this thing online, but it all starts online on YouTube because these guys don't know. No, these guys can't do nothing else but make videos. They can't do nothing tangible by if this was so serious, go to NSAC, Nevada State Athletic Commission and file a complaint or even go a step further. Call the big boss man, Al Heyman, and he can take care of it. Um, but yeah, it says videos have circulated online, which allege that Gypsy King's hands were not fully inside his gloves during both fights with. Uh, Wilder. In the videos, Fury's gloves couldn't be seen flapping as they connected with Wilder's face. Yeah, that really knocked his ass out, right? <laughs> um, and then bloody him too, right? The conspiracy theory has been widely suggest, uh, widely rubbished and ridiculed by several figures, including uh, Fury's cut man, Jacob Stitch Duran, his former trainer, Ben Davison, which I already covered, and Anthony Joshua promoter, Eddie 
Hearn. And now Reese, who has the official, who, uh, and now Reese, who was the official for the first fight, which ended in a controversial draw back in December 2018, has slammed these allegations. Jack Reese says, the same idiot conspiracy theorists claim that I helped Fury with his gloves in round three or four of the first fight, Reese said in a message in Sirius XM Radio. What I was actually doing was putting a piece of gauze and tape that was hanging from his glove back in so it wouldn't hurt Wilder accidentally by hitting him in the eye or making or making him scraping it. But the guys who don't know what they're talking about always have to complain. I'm referring to those so-called experts. Yeah, Young Pharaoh's a boxing expert. Everybody should go to him for... I mean, from now on, y'all should... Here's the thing, sidebar. From now on, everybody who believes in this theory should go to uh, Young Pharaoh as the boxing uh, the boxing glove expert. He should be the go-to guy. And it shouldn't just be Fury versus Wilder. It should be every fight going forward. Y'all should go to him because he's the expert on everything regarding to uh, gauze, taping, right? Gloves. He is the pure expert. And matter of fact, NSAC should hire him. NSAC watches YouTube videos and hire Young Pharaoh to look after uh, boxers and, and, and make it suggestions on boxers getting laced up and, and, you know, ready for the fight for their gloves and, and all that stuff. He should be the go-to guy, the glove expert, the glove inspector, right? The go-to guy, Young Pharaoh. Y'all should look after him. <laughs> anyway, um, so Jack Reese goes on to say, um, just because a person eats out at a restaurant every day, he may develop a good taste for food. But if it doesn't make but it, but it doesn't make them a chef, he doesn't know the ingredients that are being put in and how to cook it. Just because you watch a boxing fight, if you never had a fight or never refereed, never judged, you don't know what it is about boxing, especially if you've never been punched in the face. Body bag. 30 completely obliterated young pharaoh you got the actual referee who was in the fight the first fight i would love to see kenny bayless also uh get interviewed by this dumbass theory waiting for kenny bayless to respond as well but jack reese destroyed young pharaoh when he when he said referring to when he said uh the same idiot he said the same idiot conspiracy theories he's referring to young pharaoh. everybody knows he's talking about young pharaoh right but um this body bag, this this completely obliterated. Cause you you just you you come back with guys like these theories, like Young Pharaoh. You come back with facts, logic, and common sense. You know, yeah. He and and here's the other thing. Like I mentioned on my live uh, yesterday, if um, you know, if Jack Reese, Kenny Bayless, these referees are helping, you know, um, Tyson Fury. That means Tyson Fury is the most powerful man in boxing, right? Because he's paying these guys off. He's allowing the cheat, right? And he's a foreigner too. He's not from the U.S. Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine like Deontay Wilder traveling to the U.K. to fight somebody, which he'll never do. He'll, he never travels outside of the States. He never travels. Um, But can you imagine him traveling outside of the States and, and fighting, I don't know, like Joshua or Tyson Fury? And um, the same thing happens, right? Where Tyson Fury wins, you know, completely, uh, completely dominates Deontay Wilder. I could see you could have a case because, you know, Deontay Wilder's in a foreign country, right? When you're in a foreign country, you don't really have that much control over anything. So you got Tyson Fury has UK judges. He got a UK ref, right? Obviously the fight's in the UK, he got everything in, under his control, right? So let's just say, let's just turn the tables here. Let's just say Deontay Wilder won in the UK, which will never happen, of course. But let's say Deontay Wilder, they, they fought in the UK and Deontay Wilder won. Do you think that Tyson Fury fans, which of course, uh, we all know Tyson Fury fans, AJ fans, these UK fans, they outnumber Deontay Wilder fans or PBC fans in general. Like, 100 to 1. These guys don't show up to fights. 
But imagine Deontay Wilder winning a fight in the UK versus Tyson Fury. You think you think the Tyson Fury fans will be filing complaints and stuff like that and talking about they had you know Tyson Fury coming out with an excuse talking about his costume was too heavy and 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 you know the gloves was tampered. With. Um, Deontay Wilder had vibranium in his gloves. He was watching too much of Black Panther. <laughs> Can you imagine shit like that? These motherfuckers, man, I swear, bro. Like they just don't have they don't have the mental capacity to even come up with a with a believable theory. Like the the whole glove thing was is it was unbelievable from the start. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I I come back when I reply to these glove gate theories, I respond with facts from other people who were actually in or involved in the fight. Now I'm not just coming with my opinion. I'm basically going off what people like Jack Reese, like Ben Davidson, right? These guys that were really involved in the fight, they were actually involved in the fight. I read their uh, their comments or play their video, and I come back with my own commentary based off what they actually experienced. That's facts. So, again, Jack Reese completely destroys Young Pharaoh. These fans, um, again, these fans are like, I was just watching um, Z Nation. That's a you know a zombie series. I'm about to binge watch that. I guess because of the coronavirus thing. But these 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 goddamn um, Wilder fans are like zombies. They're like the corona. They're like they got bit by the coronavirus with stupidity and lack of common sense. You know, a lack of foresight. They just don't have the mental capacity to understand and and rationalize things the proper way. Like they just don't. They, these guys all have some kind of mental health issue or some kind of virus in their brain that would just lack stupidity you know what i mean it just you know it's it's weird man it, it really is weird with all these excuses i would love for somebody to do an animated video of uh i just thought about this if somebody can do an animated video right showing a plane the plane represents deontay wilder and then someone flying in the plane and unloading a plethora of excuses like <laughs> costume gloves referee um while they're saying that jack reese has showed favoritism towards uh tyson fury because of his story deontay water blaming the referee uh or blaming uh, mark Brinley being influenced by anthony Durrell. <laughs> that the the amount of excuses unloading from that plane i would love to see that in an animated video that would be hilarious. Plane flying in. Excuses. Unload. And then the excuses are landing are, are landing in a parachute on PBC Island. Right? And the fans are just like eating it up. That, that'll be dope. <laughs> I just thought about that. That'll be dope. Anyway, those are my thoughts on that, fam. Leave your comments down below. GMOG Sports TV. You already know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right? Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well, GMOG Media TV. Until next time, family, signing out. Peace.